Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of your program Winner Salon Morning Discoveries with me Kuna Sisi. Viewers today inside the program I get a very beautiful young lady. We happen to be the CEO and founder of an organization we call Children and Adolescents with Hearing Impairment. Inside the program today we will talk about within the organization the all about, the type of people where the organization the cater for and what are the plans where the organization get for them people in the Hello to you, Mami Peters, and welcome to the program. Hello, Kone. Thank you very much. All right. For start off, tell me who that's Mami Peters. Okay. So, me and Mami Peters, and me and the executive director for children and adolescents with hearing impairment. Uh, a new organization where the try for work on. Okay. And then me uh, and sign language interpreter. Then I'm the occupation where they do. All right. Um, you the cater for which type of people and because when you talk about um, children and adolescents with hearing impairment somebody will wonder is it only people we know they hear you they cater for okay when they talk about hearing impairment I mean um, either you are um, uh, partially deaf okay. or you are maybe deaf completely we get some people where they talk but they get difficulty in hearing. We get some people where they, they hear clear, but they get difficulty in speech. And then we get other category where they're completely deaf and dumb. So now that we they cater for for picking them and not do the same to them. But the organization no just limits around our children with disability because all of the programs they like we do attend, it is still like they cater for all picking them. That's why any category of disability was not the same with picking them. We could always bring them come in. All right. Let me talk about how you come about for start this organization. What is another drive behind the organization? Okay, so um, since I've been small, I always get that passion. So when I grow up, I won't forget a charity foundation. I won't for um, care for picking them with a label disability. But why I decide for go into hearing impairment? Because uh, I've been noticing. Uh, it's uh, it become a time when like I asked my mama, people that were deaf and disabled them, and she was like, yeah, and I disabled them because my mama, people when I possibly like disabled as well. The time okay. was small, they see blind, polio, other categories that they come. So let her what ask her, and they say deaf then are disabled as well. I said, but why you need to make party with deaf? They see they make party with other categories them, and she was like, I need to communicate with them. You get okay. so like, how. I said, they get a new means of communication, which is not a sign language. I said, so I know Sabi and people, they know the way Sabi. So from that discussion, I don't get on my mind. So, okay, this is a unique language in people that can learn. So if other people that can learn, it's possible for them to self learn. Okay. So that like motivates me for learn the sign language. So when I start for learn the sign language, make party with some deaf them. I begin one way, always they can. And I mean, I eat together everything. So, when we they work on the street or always they together, they ask them. I look at any object and point and be like, how you sign this? And they, they show me. So that's what I take for learning the sign language and uh, come for me party with more sign language people then. And then decide for get me organization. Now organization I don't start from where they go school in 2018. That I was in GSS two. Wow. No GSS third. Yeah, 2018. So. They try for work on her for more the and and then uh, decide the for me move for free time for see how best I can be the organization because I know one for dinner corner and something I want for let it be big so make a decide for move okay like go free time and see how best I can be push this so it's all about the passion and um, a dream more I get say this is my own focus and I just want to care for children with disability. All right, for so long now, you don't day around, you know, children and adolescents we get hearing impairment. You know, this sign language, is it they are born with it? They're able for learn them on their own or these people them actually get other people where they teach them, even though well and deaf, how for do sign language? Okay, when somebody deaf, it always gets um, one quality. Okay. They can read the lips. Same goes to a person with a blind. Okay. Their sense of thinking is smart to get. Like maybe if you talk, they able to tell so that exactly they talk. Okay. So now the same quality the deaf then gets. Anybody who is on deaf, either they born a deaf or on the way it become deaf. They get a quality they for read the lips. But the sign language is a language just like when they born, it became big 
talk to Auntie Mimi or other things. So, na na in your way of talking. Na in your way of okay. talking. Na language you can learn. So, like, I get one me paddy when I interpret her, both in two parents there, na deaf for them. So, na so it take learn in your sign language because na the only means that only be is to communicate to one. Okay. So, same goes to any deaf person. They can, na language you can learn as well. Okay, all right. Let me talk about you, your way, where you take for learn the sign language, you know. When you take a look at Sierra Leone in particular, you will ask sign language schools and the institutions and the way that they teach sign language. We don't know institution I want to say where they teach sign language. You okay. might be coming with a program where for teach sign language, but by the time we may they take notice the program we don't call out because people don't get interest in that. So the people then with the professionals they will be called or can't teach, you know, get any students so they end up for copa by the time some of who we want for learner at university level be noticed these people we are gone. So um we don't get any universities, so we will understand language, like I said, just out of passion. All right. Ask people then with Sabi, the teach with them, even the deaf, they will be mingle with the teaching as well. I take language and sign language. I don't sit down a class or any university. Okay. Um, according to you, since way back in 2018, now you start up this organization. Let me talk about your experience, you know, working with these people, advocating for them. What are some of your experience and what are some of the things that when you don't learn, say, that things that when these people actually they try for communicate, for make the world know that this and this they bother them? One thing what I really appreciate is like, um, it's a blessing to me for okay. work with people with disability. Like, I don't learn so much from them and I don't get to know them more. But when it comes to people with hearing impairments, these people, like, you need to understand the way they work with them. Okay. One thing that people weigh like attention. When they communicate with them, they, they want eye to eye. You for look at them. So like uh, when I start for like do the sign language in public, when I want for like communicate with maybe group of deaf them, what thing I be notice that uh, is if when you the sign you focus to one side, one person. If for example another five, you just focus to one person. The phone not gonna look you again because they don't already feel like okay, you know, you not care about you anywhere. I just care about this particular person. So. I come from land say, okay, when are the interpreter? Me for like me, I for pass all side. Yeah, no matter if the fifty self, make sure say yeah, they pass around. No focus on one person. You focus on one person, the rest they feel like they are not important to you. Oh, okay. So now people they will lack too much attention. They they need they lack people they will care about them. You can see death they can make part of it. Even people they want us have a sign language. Why? Because the person care about them. Maybe whenever they come around, the person can get time. Despite you need to understand them. Maybe like my mama or how he do. He get in pen and in paper. Okay. So when he want to talk something, he the writer. Then the deaf person self can write as soon as so they can take communicate. So they can like the kind of people they around them. They lack attention. They lack person we care about them. Because they find it difficult for make party with people there, online people they can get. So they can always look for people that we get time for them, we care about them. All right. Them. Okay. When you take a look at society, yeah, you look at the job opportunities, you know, you look, take a look at when you go to the banks, hospitals, and all. You don't find sign language interpreters, as you know, they see them not in place, then they so no more. What and what you don't they do for push this case go before so that people with hearing impairment when they go not in place they are so they before communicate? One thing first, what I don't put my mind to, and like I said, me a sign language interpreter and data the tool okay. for a living. So sometimes I don't focus about the money, but I can always make sure so whenever I program day. What they would mention why or oh, internationally and they try for let a did it because when I did it, it will give them the interest for say okay, like what television or what's it? What do you mean they're not okay left for what television because they're not going to understand anything. So then I the first go I said say, okay, let I make that these people they get used to television. Okay. Like whenever there's program or other things. I can always go there for interpreters. Maybe like if I go some side, maybe the one they want to be, they get the WhatsApp. But just the drop it. So so time I go for down here in so so places when I watch. So now they don't get used to them. Um, maybe if you take one two days, they ask me, you not going to television today. 
So now the same thing I want for do with other places there. But one thing we now me on focus now education okay. because for like uh, deaf person go na bank. It only takes the one way, like they earn that much. Understand? Not so the one that we rely on sit begging. Because if you go ten, get ten thousand, twenty thousand, don't get no. And not even gonna bank because mm -hmm. what they will save. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it only take the one. Maybe you don't educate or you get skill mm -hmm. where they get some certain amount of money. Now in go access bank. So now that one for push first. Then the other thing now the the one when I power it in now the hospitals. But we're not getting the sign I was in Tapotan Hospital. And uh, I think for the past six or seven years, so I don't become an interpreter. Like just one thing, I don't interpret in hospital. Yeah. So it's like, what I notice that is like, these people are not going to these hospitals. They need to go. And you try to find out why? We try to find out because there's no means that they will communicate. Okay. So now something like that, now one of which maybe me to these institutions. Even like with the sign language interpreters don't work, so we're not going to work on the places there. But let's get some if each hospital get one or two staff who are not already, maybe get the basic on how to communicate with the deaf then maybe when you come, ask them what they have all time. Let able explain you understand just that basic. You know, me say you able grab everything, but just the basic, the terms, the way they use in the hospital, it will be easier. So now that's what they try for work on now, and now uh, we we'll try for like see how best we can able work with the uh, Minister of Education higher. Okay. For see how best maybe they can put a sign language as a course in the university because it's not only for help people with disability. But come to think of it, like people that they come on a university today, they don't get job. But they will do different different courses. But if you don't, for example, you don't go learn banking and finance, and then you get idea in sign language. You can't work in a bank as a sign language interpreter. That's if alone they will help the bank. But maybe for come deaf, then they will actually get skills so that they get money they need for say. But why they need to go to the bank? There's no way they can communicate. So that's if alone they add value to the education sector. You okay. understand? Yes. All right. Let me talk about some challenges as a sign language interpreter and person where they advocate for children and adolescents we get hearing impairment so uh, the one challenge is i can talk about not for the education sector but a sign language interpreter to be specific now like some people don't value our job like they just see the job some some people are like okay a unique but like they don't get that value for the job because it's not what they do one because uh, get, we get some programs there where they go invite you, maybe like five hours, six hours, they go to map for the sign. And like, maybe they, when it come to the money side, maybe they just they give you just chicken change. But sometimes I don't actually look at the money because I go there because I know some people they get for watch the program, but it's not nice. You need to have value for who work what they do. You know, we're spending for God. And not to sit down with the sit-down, I'm up with the It's somebody to map two, three hours. It just they use the hand. Like, we use so much energy in that. Understand? Because you get for one, the people that support it, they talk. They don't even want to know if sign language interpreted or not. And the sign language, when you they interpret, it's not so every word somebody they talking, they interpret. Okay. We summarize. So if you are talking so fast, it can be difficult for we as a sign language interpreter for interpreter because we need for like capture the whole idea we be talk and try for explain that in short words so that they can because the moment I say I want for interpret word for word I go for left behind and the information then they go out. Okay. Yeah. So that's our number one challenge and then to some of them the timing. Sometimes I can just say and somebody just call me, hey then in the mommy Peters, sign language interpreter we get program we need you now like maybe that Five or ten minutes, and if for rush up, whatever thing what they do, and if for left high and go to that place, right. so when I say like people don't have respect for our job, but you should do that. Like now that makes some people out of work they like you difficult for doing. It's not difficult. You should have respect for my job. Okay. All right. Well, viewers, now forget to the program where you they listen and watch. Now, Salon Morning Discoveries with me, Kuna Sise. And right inside the studios today, I do with Mami Peter as we are the founder and CEO for children and adolescents with hearing impairment. We do go for a short break. And when we come back, we will talk about things and where the organization don't they do so far for help children and adolescents with impairment. Sierra Network is the network that bridges the gap between the diasporas and those within Sierra Leone. 
by providing authentic and factual news on a daily basis. And we at Sierra Network Salon take pride in quality and productivity is our utmost priority in service delivery to the communities we serve. We expect and professionalism at all times. Our service to the people of Sierra Leone is paramount in what we do. We constantly strive for innovation and the best that meets the demands of the people in Sierra Leone. Our passion and creativity oversees the work we produce. We work as a team to provide you the best in news, media, comedy, entertainment and all your event coverage. Sierra Network is here to offer you the best. We engage the people to learn about Sierra Leone's culture and history. This is Triple A from Sierra Network. This is Dr. Isetu Kake Jalo from Sierra Network Health Talk and Discovery. This is Ishmahi Dadis Bangura from Sierra Network Comedy and Production. This is Abid Kaloko from Sierra Network Media. This is Sila Kemtakabu from Sierra Network Media. This is Isatu Smai Sise from Sierra Network Talk to the Camera. This is Kona Sise from Sierra Network Talk to the Camera. This is Samuel Bright from Sierra Network Media. This is Mohamed Eskabu from Sierra Network Production and Comedy. This is Justice A.M. Tijan from Sierra Network Media. This is Salima Sukaki from Sierra Network Tell Me Salon. Sierra Network Salon, where Sierra Leone is never too far at 56 Campbell Street, second floor. Freetown, Sierra Leone. You can call us at plus two three two seven seven four two five six three seven or plus one six four six six one zero three one zero seven or visit us on the web at snradio.net or sncfny.org Welcome back from that short break, viewers, and the program where you to listen and watch presently. Now, Salon Morning Discoveries with me, Kuna Sisi. And inside the program, are there with Mami Peters, the founder and CEO for children and adolescents with hearing impairment. Welcome back to the program, Mami. Thank you, Kuna. All right. Let me talk about some operations then we, the organization, don't they carry out ever since when he came into existence. Okay, so we start for do some of the programs then. Okay. Uh, whenever we do program, once they work it up for watch, work it, they look at it, it's like want to create an inclusive environment. So let me mean, the programs are not just limited to hearing impairment. The organization is for hearing impairment, but not just limited to that. Okay. Because I want to, I want to create that inclusiveness. So I can always invite different category of disability and even picking the self or not to disable. So they go mingle. So they go mingle okay. and see how best they can like it can always unique. So with the first program we'll be doing will be last year December, December twenty eighth. Or like when it is the end of year party, something like that. Car would just begin it all together. It was about eighty beginning different category of disability and then every beginner so not to disabled they become. Then after that try to get some other program for um, sensitize uh, the adults then on this family planning and other stuff because uh, people with disability get one thing with the face especially the woman them they get this thing called night husbands. Now next man they can come around but daytime they say no not telling anybody say me you get anything to do. So maybe in that process they can get better and then the man that since nobody knows how the man you know get my points nobody so then they suffer with the picking so for stop that we we'll call them together for see how best we can sensitize them on family planning and uh, something like that, sexual okay. and reproductive health and rights. Mm. So on they sensitize them on family planning. But then when you look at the point C, they actually get right for stand up and speak up so that this go come to an end. Because um, to me own point of view, I see that as saying it's an harassment. No. So what in on don't they tell them people we are, especially the women with hearing impairment about such an act? One thing when it comes to their uh, 
Me no can always talk to them for see them say, okay, you know what thing, you know, they say, but your young kids is different now. Okay. Women are women. That's why it's your category of disability. One thing as a woman where you will forget, like your pride. You have right to that. You have right to say no. Okay. And almost say when I don't find myself in this kind of situation, like anybody can come around and mess up. No. You need to be responsible. Like get respect for yourself. If somebody can tell you, say, okay, you know what, we can get a fear and a net, but daytime and also be you. Like, what the heck? Tell the person, say, no, if you are not proud of me, there's no way I can forget anything to do with you. Even if you are disabled, you still get rights, you still get pride as a woman. You need to respect yourself. So, like, that's something that I always put to them. No, encourage that. Mickey always say, like, excuse me for the nonsense that. If somebody tell you that, tell us, say, I don't mix for nonsense. Because you know, go kind of next, then daytime we, we act like you don't even know me. Mm -hmm. Don't accept that. So, na, me not something like that what I put to them. Not to something any for I say, hey, becoming a disabled other man no go want me now. Now make you need for be responsible. When you are responsible, people that are responsible will come around you. But if you always like they behind and people waiting at the back will come to you. But push yourself. Don't like let your disability like, limit you from access anything. You can even be somebody in future if you want. It's just about like what you feel inside, what your dream. Get a dream. Not a man for can begin telling you say me na net side no more data no tell us in a nonsense. Okay. All right. You know when you look at people with this hearing impairment, um, you, they get a lot of things. Then we actually people need for to attention to and help them with. You know, when you talk about what an organization don't they do so far, the support on don't they give them, it gets for the resources. Somebody will wonder if you they collaborate with any other organization or you get support from different ministries. So like now this is a new organization. Okay. Like plenty of the ministries the way they cater for people with disability, you know about the organization. But when it comes to funding that's what is lacking. Okay. Like most time, I don't do program like six times. It takes me own money and individual donations. I see like, okay, I don't get funding once from uh, National Commission for Persons with Disability for the International Women's Day for come with women with disability to see how best we can tell the importance of that day. And then NACOVAC, we don't form way for visit the deaf schools them and see how best we can able to sensitize them on this COVID-19, their preventive measures and other things, give them hand sanitizer and other things for keep them safe. But for other NGOs, I can just work as individual because like it's difficult though as a new organization for their funding, but still that I don't want that for you mate me because I know what thing that they look at so I could prefer like Okay, I get a job in this time my dream. I can still work and use my money for do what I want. Because the one thing I believe in, they, they get this thing where they say, throw money, and take, store. I don't know how to put it exactly. Like, where you get money, they money they up, use money for store money. Because okay. let me do things that, like, for show pictures to people, they say, okay, this particular, this is what somebody did do. Somebody will look at wow, I don't try. Let's see how best we can able support. So I want to do on my own way. And also tomorrow, tomorrow, this night dream for create inclusiveness. People will come around. You understand? All right. All right. Um, between them and adolescents, them we get this hearing impairment. Not only tap na freedom, then they all about na salon. So is it that the organization they cater for also picking them where they out of free town or not just free town on a center around? Would well, they cater for all the picking there? Not of free town no more. When will they do that COVID-19 awareness and we we'll visit Bo, Kenema, Makini. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we they cut off a picking outside for it as well. Alright. Okay. Um, let me talk about some success stories then. Good things then where you go get for share with viewers then about how far one don't come and the achievements and one don't make. Um with that I can start with like individual achievements like Actually, like, don't get that exposure okay. and that like, connections and people get to know me. And uh, sometimes, like, the worker that say, be like, I remember one time when they, I think that be the presidential reopen, parliamentary reopen. And then after the program, I actually not be in a parliament, I AYV, I be there, but they just capture. And yeah, the person I say, 
That is the answer that I was like, not to me. It's a bone. Are you there? The other lady back home. Now you, now you. So like sometimes when they work at a certain point, like so something like that. Like, yeah, <laughs> that condition. Like actually, it's not about pride, but I feel good though okay. because the program we're gonna do, like I don't even get one cent from that. But at least people they know say like I'm doing my best. Okay. You understand? At least like at the few people say okay. At least people they did not take notice of me. Work what you do. Mm -hmm. And I know say like maybe somebody don't go see me at television. It get somebody around when I deaf. It must go call and say hey, can go see something. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then as an organization, we don't achieve a lot. As a new organization, like we actually don't like other organization they know but we just spend like money that they can but whenever they get program they can always call me they know so we are in existence and then the 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 the, the joy and the happiness what they get when they're always there around the picking and that that's all i'm looking for not to do money but whenever they would them picking them the 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 joy today you can see when i get one other picture when i'm the best picture from what they do programs and where you see the other one, the picking now not to disable, and they push the one in the wheelchair, count into the bucket for washing, for help her for washing her. Then a unique picture, I get her in picture and video, and then the other one, they help the blind bubble with and stuff for them. Maybe after the program, I can always give them parcel. So like June system program, I give them chairs and be like, you see the chair, the chair now you go to use after school for sitting and study. So a whole in chair and in parcel. For go towards the motor car and one in the strength. So this other picking sit down and, and see him. So he can hold his hand and help her to the motor car. So then she has the self one big there be creates problem for me because I told her say, you know what? Anybody broke the chair and get forget problem with auntie. Yeah. So the other begin go to my mind, then they end up for take bike. Then the chair end up for broke. The next day they can of say, no give mama one piece. He say, auntie say anybody wait. So and then the the most important like uh, unique part was I be invite f I think five blind there from the blind school. When they go with them, they pack the chairs and together. When okay. they reach, they give this other bobo the chair. The bobo was like, "This is not to me chair." Oh, somebody so, be blind. Yeah, they actually will recognize you. Yeah, yeah. So. so the people they all come. This is your chair. You know this one. It's saying asabi me chair. And then they come. The principal come. They say, "Now you don't can give me problem. Can help me." So, and so actually, not to be in chair. Actually, not to be in chair. Wow. So what's in account when I okay. You know what you say not to each other. Also, if you church each chair, you go know and it was like, yeah. So I said, okay. When I get all the five chairs there, then church. So in church all the five chairs there, he meet up one night and that's say what nice in a million chair. That's now say like you mark her, nice in one my auntie one no say this a million chair. So up to now I did think like for real? So something like that, like what he do with the wow. phone can too much and then he uh, can join. Yeah, that's really, really wonderful. Yeah. yeah. All right. You are somebody we don't learn this sign language, yeah. And according to you earlier when you mentioned say few people in Adandina Salon we actually know sign language and sign language interpreters. So you don't take them upon yourself for educate people and will willing for learn? The problem here is like the sign language, the first time when somebody go say go be like, wow. I want for Lana. Okay. But for tell you to, not to all man to say one for Lana get entry. When you want for learn sign language, it takes passion and time. Because sign language you do it for one week, you left her for one week, and they left you for one month. Mm. Now every day practice. So it takes passion for letting you actually learn the sign language. So some people like now admire the kid, man. Not to really learn the one for land. They will come to your kid, I want for land, but not to really learn the one for land. They just admire at first sight. Okay. But they don't get that time and they don't get that passion for um. All right. Let me talk about the plans, the projects that when you don't map out for people with hearing impairment. So uh, actually, want for do much in our school get for open maybe next week. School already open, but by next week now. I got a campaign right now where they go on like a back to school. Yeah, yeah, they encourage individual like I say, like I don't get organization where they can't give me money to do social program or go okay. implement social program. So individual donations are they ask people if you get school items for kangi or if you get money for kangi. Like yesterday I guess I think eighteen dollars of book, two three packets, a pen and then 
20 dollars in pencil, okay. eraser, all that's in them. So now that's right now I want to do for say how best I can give school items to the beginning there. But this trip and the target for turn, I want to get the East Bo uh, Kenema, Kono and Kailan. Okay. One for go give them school items. Maybe that go encourage the beginning for go school because that part of the the country picking them with disability in the group for go school. But I think say if we go give them some items, encourage them and for the check on them. As well, that way will help them for focus. All right. So, what thing will be your message where you they send out to so yeah, to organizations? Them out there, people where they listen and watch you right now. We if you see the need for invest in such a thing, what thing you go tell them? So, anybody will feel say that one thing when it comes to disability, one thing I can always push it, it take passion. Not only for feel sorry, and not like somebody they feel sorry for the people with disability. We are all the same. We can at this world the same way. The same way women take can and the same way blind person take can. So no sorry for them. But just get that passion that you had to say, okay, let me do some something for help this person. And let us see that as a friend and give a happy hand. Because you know what? Eh? The past government, remember, will begin person to be blind minister, right? So all category of disability people can do them. So if you know organization where they look for cater for vulnerable people, you are welcome on board. You can able like uh, reach out to me. We get our office now by the road, new market where they share office with National Rehabilitation Center. You can reach out to we or even now we email or now Facebook page, children and adolescents with here in PMA organization or Instagram or Twitter. You can reach out to me and if you want to be partners, you are welcome. All right. So finally, you go send a message out there to women with AI and impairment in regards to the concern we raised earlier on about the night husbands. Tell them about their rights and how to stand up for their rights with sign language. Oh, <laughs> so okay. I can see her out first because okay. I not just want to send message particularly to here in PNL. Okay. Want okay. to send message to women living with disability. Okay. Less. I can say less because I can always be say we are just the same. You understand? As a woman, let's be responsible. The pride. It respects so it let somebody respect you. Let somebody not like look low upon you because you're a woman. Because one thing like international like it says, disability is not one challenge. And you being a woman is another challenge. Okay. We as a woman, we're not to disable as well. We get challenges we we face every day. So not encourage anybody for come around you just na net. No. You are a woman. And you get that full responsibility and you get that full right for get for them to relationship. So let somebody want you for who that you be. May not just can't take cover because that's an advantage. Right. So let not say because they can't give five thousand with you know. Let's go of that. Tell us say I don't mix for nonsense. All right. So for for people that wait deaf as well, we in a woman. Now for try for stop all this man then with the camera. We not just the net. For just sex and then the money they disappear and for stop that. Focus and try for learn how best you can be in future. For be for let you be responsible because in future you get for care for your picking and your family. Your family in future will rely on you. But now if you accept all the money for can and the money and disappear, tomorrow you will go to sit in the bag. So we don't want that to happen, please. All right, thank you so, so much for what you joined me in the program today for that wonderful, wonderful sign language interpretation. All right, viewers, we will be in the program catch you today. My name is Nakona Sise, and the guest today we will be getting now, Mami Peters from the sign language interpretation, and also Naina, the CEO and founder for children and adolescents with hearing impairment. So, so we meet again to another edition of Salomon Discoveries. Ta-ta! Thank you.